Palm Beach, Florida, Washington Post, U.S. President Donald Trump is set to ring in the new year the same way he has for about two decades, at the lavish party he hosts at his private club here. But this weekend's gala at Mar-a-Lago, his first since becoming president, will be a little different, the security will be tighter. The crowds will probably be bigger. And the tickets will run 750 US dollars, S$1, 000, a guest, a hike from last year, according to members and guests. Trump supporters said the extra hassle and cost will be worth it. It's a very glam night. I think everyone is even more excited this year than last year, because then he was president-elect, he hadn't been sworn in, said Tony Holt Kramer, a member of the club and co-founder of the Trumpets USA group. Now he's president, and he's accomplished so much already. Membership applications at Mar-a-Lago surged after Trump was elected, leading the club to double its initiation fee to $200,000 US dollars this year. As president, Trump no longer runs his real estate and hotel business, but he continues to own Mar-a-Lago and his other properties. Critics said the boost in prices for Sunday's party and Trump's regular trips to Trump Organization properties, this is the president's 10th visit to Mar-a-Lago this year, show how he is using his position to promote his brand. The president continues to find ways to profit from public office, by exploiting the fact that there are people who will pay to spend time with him and to be seen with him, said Kathleen Clark, a government ethics expert at the Washington University School of Law in St. Louis. The White House and Trump Organization officials did not respond to requests for comment. A woman who answered the phone at Mar-a-Lago declined to share details about the party with a non-member and said there was no press office to respond to inquiries. For some, the New Year's Eve bash at Mar-a-Lago is the highlight of the Palm Beach social season. Hundreds of guests attend the red carpet gala, which begins with cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. Dinner typically involves a four-course meal that ends with a signature dessert, the meringue-topped baked Alaska. One year, the menu was printed on white chocolate. In 2010, singer Rod Stewart, talk show host Regis Philbin and a Tiger Woods impersonator showed up at the party. Afterward, Trump told the Palm Beach Daily News, people came up to me to say that the Rod Stewart and Regis impersonators were great but that the Tiger guy was so-so. I don't think they realized Rod and Regis were the real ones. About 500 to 600 guests attended last year's bash, according to guests. Then-President-elect Trump took the stage to make New Year's remarks. Donald Trump Jr., whose birthday is New Year's Eve, danced in a conga line, photos from the event show. Actors Sylvester Stallone and Fabio Lanzoni took photos with guests. This year, the gala decor, which tended to lean toward the more garish side before Trump ran for president, Las Vegas showgirls, Moulin Rouge, 70s disco theme, will be more muted sophisticated and fitting for a president. There's a more modern vibe than in the past, said Steve Levine, co-owner of Jose Gratt Errol Designs of Miami, which is handling the party decor for the fourth year.